Hey guys, I'm Luke with Ross Monster Vans. I want to show you one of our new builds here. This is on a Sprinter 170. Uh, we've got some really cool things that we're excited to show you. As soon as you step into the vehicle, we've got these bug screens. They're magnetic, so it's easy to come through and then close back up. Uh, quickly talking about some of the design features in this van. The ceiling is uh, pine tongue and groove. Uh, really creates a nice aesthetic up there. The walls are all painted white. They've got a cool tile backsplash. This is a stick-on tile. Um, all the doors and cabinetry is white five panel. This is an acacia butcher block. We've got teak tables here and the exterior table is also teak which matches the, the shower grate. And they've got this uh, leather bench here which really ties everything together nicely. So as soon as you step into this van, you've got their sitting area here, these front seat swivel, and then they've got this two-person bench with a lagoon table mount. Uh, this is a really cool teak table. Uh, this bench also does a couple cool things. Uh, the bench base pulls out and extends to get a little bit of a deeper uh, seat base, and then you can still push this away and not have it intrude on your aisleway. And then you also, have a slide out ottoman. Uh, this comes out, nice little footrest, um, 500 pound mocking slides, and then it slides away when not in use. And then it's got storage under there as well. Um, these lagoon table mounts slide out of the way, um, really easy to then pass by. As we step over to the kitchen, we got a flip up countertop. Uh, this is an acacia uh, butcher block countertop that looks really cool in here with the white. Uh, as we step further back, we've got an induction burner um, above a big drawer bank here. Um, everything soft close hardware um, and latches so nothing's flying open on you as you drive down the road. Stepping a bit further back, we've got an isotherm fridge. Um, this is uh, a cool double door style with the freezer uh, completely on the left here and the fridge on the right. This is a, a really nice way to have a big fridge and a, a big freezer as far as vans go. Stepping further back, we've got a really big body sink with a cutting board insert. Um, we've got your colander and everything in there. Uh, this van has a water filter specifically for drinking water at the tap here, and then your standard hot and cold water faucet here. Uh, this van is also equipped with 30 gallons of fresh water with an undermount gray water tank that has an electronic dump valve. Um, so that's kind of a cool way to be able to collect your gray water wherever you are. And then when you're somewhere where it's fine to dump that gray water, you don't even have to leave the vehicle. You just hit a switch, it opens up that valve uh, and you dump that out. As we move over to the driver's side here, we've got a closet on the back. You've got a little mirror here. Uh, we've got a safe and adjustable shelves in this closet. And then uh, the shower system in this van is pretty cool. Um, we've got this retractable shower door. The shower is pretty big as far as van standards go. We've got this removable teak grate in the bottom, shower, towel rack here. And then the really cool thing about this shower is it converts to the bathroom as well. So you come down here and you pull out your toilet and you've got your Sunmar composting toilet here. Um, so uh, you can use this as a dry bath and a wet bath. As soon as you're done with the toilet, this slides away. This closes off, and now you've got a nice big shower without the toilet in here. In the very back of the van, we've got a raised bed platform. They've got flare space here, so that really extends the, the width, so they're gonna be able to sleep sideways um, and have retained all of this uh, living space in front of that. There's Arctic turn windows on those flares, so they're gonna awning out. And they've got screens and window covers back there as well. So all the controls for this van are on the face of this upper cabinet. Uh, you've got two zones of dimmable lights, one over the bed, one over the living area in the front. Um, they wanted a master shut off for all the DC systems, so um, that's kind of nice. You can just shut everything down just with one flip of that switch. Um, you can light up all these switches. They've all got backlights on there. And then all of your different systems have have their own switch, so it's easy to control. They've got an exterior porch light, 
Um, so when they've got their awning out on the side, they can you know put that porch light out and create a nice living area. And this guy is your battery monitor. That's gonna be useful for monitoring the state of charge of your batteries and making sure that you're using your power correctly as you use your van. Uh, here we have in-floor heat in this van with their lithium ion battery bank. Uh, they opted to go for electric heat. It is gonna be power intensive, but we put this on a timer switch so they could never overuse that system. Um, so that's gonna be kind of a cool perk uh, as they're using this as a ski rig in the winter. These next two controls are the Rixon control system. Uh, the Rixon is what creates hot air and hot water in the van. It's a coolant based system. So uh, you can create hot water while you're driving and create hot water while you're at camp, or you can plug into shore power uh, and create heat and hot water if you're at a house or a campground. Um, so digital thermostat, this is super simple to use. It ties directly into the fuel tank and is a great heating system. Let's uh, jump around back and we'll show you what we have in the garage. Continuing around the outside of the van, we step over to the driver's side. We've got a flat line ladder over here. Again, the aluminous Nerf bars. And then you've got your shore power plug over here uh, when you have access to power. And moving in the garage area of the van, open up these back doors. We've got these bug screens back here as well. They zip out and are easy to remove completely, um, but they're also on magnets so you can open this up and gain access to your garage. We've got this 500 pound gear slide back here that comes out. It'll be great for mounting more mountain bikes too or loading up gear and having really easy access to load the entire length of your garage from this position. On the passenger side, we've got all of the water systems and they've got a little viewing port to view where their water is while they're filling it there. Uh, and then on this side, there's the power systems. Uh, this is also where the toilet slides into and that we were looking at from that shower in the front. Additional stuff in here, they've got 600 amp hours of lithium power, which uh, is planning to run their AC unit while they're off grid. They've also got an air compressor with a holding tank in there, all the associated solar control stuff. You've got garage lights back here, You've got power back here for plugging in, you know, different things as you're going down the road. And so a uh, really functional garage. Everything back here is made out of this black hex ply. Um, it's a ruggedized uh, textured plywood that's really good for taking all the abuse of your gear. The last cool thing that I'm gonna show you guys back here, we've got an auxiliary solar array. We have an extension cord that plugs into an auxiliary uh, solar port on the bumper here. So the idea here is to either, you know, add a little bit of extra solar while you're running that AC and you want to offset that more, or this is a rather long cord. So you can park your van in the shade, throw your solar panels out in the sun and still be charging without heating up the van too much. Um, so this is a pretty cool, uh, flexible solution for solar. And then it all folds way easy and stores back in here. Box. Looking at the roof, we have a Coleman Mach AC unit in the back. Again, this is the flat line roof rack up here as we go forward. We have the Max Air fan and their solar array in the front. And then all the way at the front, you have a Wi Fi Ranger. Um, they've got a junction box for adding future components over there. And then that light bar off the front for off road use. Thanks for checking out our new build. Please follow us on Instagram or subscribe to our YouTube channel so you see all these uh, van builds coming out. Thanks.